Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Two Point Hospital Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. So, uh, in today's video I'm going to be expanding on a little bit on um, uh, um, basically training classifications for your staff. If you haven't watched my Staffing 101 video, I would highly recommend watching it. Um, most of the uh, terms that I'll be using here will uh, apply to that. Um, and I also will be updating some of the things that I've uh, been covering in that video here. But today we are going to be applying ourselves mostly to nurses. So this is what I like to call the nurse dichotomy. Um, so there are lots and lots of different skills available to our nurses here. Uh, lots of different roles for them to have. And, uh, well, here, let's just, uh, let's just take someone here, like Ronald Doom. Nurse Ronald Doom. That, that instills a lot of, uh, faith here. But, um... Where, what are you doing here, Nurse Ronald Doom? We have you unsorted is what we're doing. So one of the things that you want to do with your nurses is uh, sort them. Um, now, when I say the nurse dichotomy, I mean two different categories. There, you should have two categories of nurses. One should be your ward nurse. Uh, now, your ward nurses should look something like this. Uh, ward allowed, fracture ward allowed, and surgery allowed. I'll get to that in just a moment. The other type of nurse that you should have is your treatment nurse. Uh, that should be uh, all uh, all treatment all the time, and they should have access to the pharmacy, the clown clinic, the chromotherapy, basically all of the nurse-operated uh, uh, things, but I, uh, not surgery. And again, more on that in a moment. Uh, Ronald Doom must have been a new hire that I haven't sorted yet. So, a couple of things. When you get a new hire, uh, make sure you choose what role they want based on their skills. You want to, you know, pick their skills accordingly. Now, Ronald here has a little bit of skill pollution. Emotional intelligence does not directly help things out, but... If you can see here, happy, I love my job, when they are happy enough to be declare, declare themselves as happy, happy actually does legitimately help them out a little bit. It's not as good as having the, the you know, a 20% a in the skill, but it, it's not the worst thing in the world. But anyway, I digress. So what we want to do here is we want to trim Ronald back here uh, so that he's only working the uh the uh the ward nurse uh buildings here now another thing i like to do to sort of split my nurses up and, and help identify them is i like to give them different outfits if you click on this little clothes hanger right here you'll notice you'll be taken to a screen with additional outfits now the additional outfits do cost kudosh to unlock and they provide no actual in-game benefit but that's fine it helps it helps organize your nurses so at a glance you can see who wears where so i like to give my ward nurses the pale blue outfit now we can see ronald doom is working on there he's also going to be getting the heck out of the injection room because that's not where he belongs that's absolutely not where he belongs and the reason for that is that we want him to play to his strengths we want him to go to a room uh where he can uh put his strengths towards now um you might be saying well pinstar why why are you letting your ward nurses work in surgery uh, does does ward help in the surgery no does treatment help in the surgery? Why don't you put your treatment nurses in the surgery? Nope, doesn't help there either. Uh, frustratingly enough, um, none of the skills will directly help a surgery nurse help the success rate of their surgical patient. That all falls on the actual doctor themselves. The, su the surgery skills of the surgeon are the only things that will... Uh, um, will impact that unfortunately so as such the um the nurse that we assign here well the uh like let's take a look at ruby transformer the ideal skills that i would assign for for a nurse would be uh, for if you had a level five nurse uh ward management four stamina one stamina is the only skill that directly helps um 
uh, surgery nurses. The reason for that being is that it takes a when, it's, when a staff member needs to go on break for surgery, it takes them a long time. They need to go. They need to basically go here, get dressed or undressed, and then go on break. And then when they need to return, they need to come in, get dressed, and go in there. So you don't want surgery nurses going on break often at all. You want to keep them away from going on breaks. And the way you do that is with stamina. Now, that being said, yes, you could make a whole other category of just surgery nurses, but beyond the other four cat, uh, um, you know, categories here, the skill points here, beyond stamina, that wouldn't really be kind of wasteful, honestly speaking. So I've decided, and I found this to good effect, mixing my ward nurses with my stamina nurses and letting my <coughs> any of my ward nurses work in the surgery. Now we happen to be on Smogly, and Smogly has a metric F ton of uh, surgery patients, which is why we have so many surgical clinics right now. Um, but that's okay. Um, we just count those. We add the number of surgical clinics plus the number of nurse slots uh, in both of our wards. And yes, we do have two different wards plus a fracture ward, uh, meaning we have a lot, and I do mean a lot, of, uh, uh, of, uh, of ward nurses. And as you can see, I'm scattering that stamina uh, in there. Now, not every single one of them has stamina, but eventually uh, they all will. Uh, you know, I wouldn't start scattering in stamina to my surgery nurse or to my uh, ward nurses until you start needing to have a um, a surgery in place. In which case, you just go pure uh, uh, ward, and then just leave your uh, leave your treatment nurses to go pure pure treatment. The other reason I do that is the um, at, at um, ward management four. You have, you're looking at an 80% bonus to both treatment and uh, diagnosis skill. Whereas with a uh, with treatment five, you're looking only at a uh, a fifty percent bonus. But with the treatment skill, some of these clinics, that's the only place you can get those skills in is by treatment. There are no clinic specific skills that give you the twenty percent bonus. So you might as well max out the treatment levels for your treatment nurses and go and splash in that stamina for the ward. And even if they are working in the ward, they're um, they, they can keep going pretty darn well. Uh, so I wouldn't worry about that. I mean, they're, they're all getting kind of tired here, but they can take it. They can take it. Um, so, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is the w nurse dichotomy. Now, um, one last question you might be having here. Hey, Pinstar, did you know that there are the cardiology, the general diagnosis, and the fluid analysis rooms, those all require nurses. And they don't, they don't, they don't benefit from ward. They don't benefit from treatment. Where the Sam heck are your diagnostic nurses? Well, I'll tell you where the Sam heck they are. Nowhere. I don't use these buildings, these, these rooms. General diagnostics, cardiology, and, uh, uh, fluid analysis, while great, maybe in like the really early game before you've got these, the real diagnostics comes in X-ray and Mega Scan. Those two rooms I will use. I use them extensively, as you can see here. Um, in this particular one, we've got uh, one X-ray and two Mega Scan. Uh, actually, three Mega Scans. I think we need another X-ray here, uh, given the queue that's built up here. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that is the, uh, the, the reasoning behind it. And the other reasoning behind that is that the staff that you use to run those, these doctors, uh, like Roy Bilk here, um, these require just one thing of radiology, four things of diagnostics, and they can work either room because the radiology not only lets them use the mega scanner, but also gives them a bonus when using the x-ray. So regardless of which of the two rooms they end up working, it helps you out. So no diagnostic nurses, yes, radiologists. That is my tip for you today. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. Uh, so until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya. 
there. That should do it nicely. Oh yeah. Kick up an upgrade while you do that. <laughs> 